Okay, so mathematical research is sometimes done for very practical purposes, like modeling the flows of icebergs to prevent another Titanic disaster. But sometimes it is done simply to broaden the domain of mathematical knowledge. My research falls into the second category, and even so, it is from an area which has given us things like Google's page ranking algorithm. So here we have a graph. It consists of green nodes, which are sometimes joined by blue lines. You can capture all the information about a graph in an array of numbers, like so, from which you can extract a thing called the spectrum, which is just a set of numbers here. So the idea is sometimes your graph is so large that you don't gain any information just by staring at it. And so instead, you look at the spectrum as a sort of summary. And sometimes it's enough to help you solve your problem. Our problem today is this maximum stable set problem. So here, you imagine that the nodes are cottages in the woods, which are sometimes joined by paths. And the red dots are researchers that you would like to put into the cottages in the woods. But you don't want to put two next to each other, like in the first picture, because then they'll just want to visit with each other and drink wine. But you want them to stay put and cure cancer. So first picture, not OK. Second picture, no one has any incentive to move. So they all stay put, and it's going to be good. It's stable. And the question is, how many researchers can you fit into your woods? OK. So this is a hard question. It's really hard. I mean, you could do it for this tiny example here, but suppose you had 10,000 cottages. You could ask your computer, but it would die and you would die before it came up with an answer for you. So the best you could do is hope for an approximate solution or maybe an upper bound, something that says, uh, we don't know how many exactly, but surely no more than this number. And in, in this case, you can get this number just by looking at the spectrum. My research lies in the director case, where instead of having paths between your cottages, you have one-way streets. And here, we had to credit our researchers with the gift of foresight. So if they see that they can visit one friend after another after another, and eventually come home to their own cottage without having to stop at an empty cottage, like in the first picture, then they'll go for it. Otherwise, they'll deem it to be not worth their while, and they'll stay home and do research. So the question is still the same. How many researchers can you cram into your woods? And this is an even harder problem. And I know you think researchers in the woods, that's kind of weird. But this is a grand metaphor for things that occur naturally in computer chip design and genome assembly. And here, there is no bound which uses a spectrum. So with my supervisor, Boya Mohar, we are working to change that. And in doing so, push the boundaries between the known and the unknown. Thank you. <laughs>